why should one invest in private pension and not just in EDFs? Because yeah. let me make the case for EDFs. Yeah. I can right. open a broker account very easily without any issues. Yeah. I can start investing with just one euro per month. Yeah. Uh, so why should I invest or why should I invest in a private pension plan instead of just buying ETFs with anything I want because it's flexible. I can do anything with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think you should do both. Right. Okay. I think you should. Uh, then these are different categories, right? There's like comparing apples with, with lemon because like basically in a private pension, what is your aim? Why do you do a private pension? Prefer because first of all, you pay a lot of taxes and want a tax refund and want to save taxes while you are working, right? That's the first big point there. And you want in your pension a stable lifelong income. So you don't want to like look at a market and see, okay, how much can I take out and how is the market going, etc. You just want, okay, I have my 5,000 euros pension. I will get that until I die. Even if I get 120, I never have to worry about money, right? So I have my stable income base in retirement, right? These are like the most, uh, most viable part why you should do like a private pension plan. It's also easy to set up, right? We do this in our consulting, see, okay, where do we get like the best conditions for you? What makes the most sense for you? Explain everything. And like the setup is also rather easy. So I think you should do like a private pension plan for like fill your pension gap and then do the ETF investing, which also, or the broker account investing, well, like your flexible savings, because both is important in my opinion. Right? Okay. So uh, you should you should go for both when you have a rather high salary. Of course, when you're like a, a student and can put aside like 50 euros a month, then hey, just go to Trade Republic or Scale Capital, etc. You've made great videos on that. Open up your account and uh, save your 50 euros, right? That's uh, totally fine. Then you don't need like a private pension plan. But when you are working and have like a good high salary and pay a lot of taxes, then uh, a private pension plan very, very good because basically 40% of the investment the government pays and they give you like this tax money for 40 years to work with. So you get the compounding interest effect on your taxes, basically. Yeah, that's so, a huge number. That's a huge number. Let me just present you with another scenario. Uh, yeah. We have, let's say, an expat. Again, maybe they came for bachelor's, master's or their PhD. Their plan is not staying in Germany for a long term. Maybe their plans might change. Maybe like, but right now they are thinking, yeah. okay, I'm living in Germany for a short term and yeah. perhaps I want to do something. So what should they do? Should they invest in yeah. a private pension plan? What options do they have? Yeah. So it depends what you mean by long term. When you already know, okay, I'm going to stay here two years for my studies, then I'm going to leave. But then uh, don't invest in a, in a private pension plan, right? Just have flexible investments that you can also then uh, take with you anytime, right? Mm. Um, when you say, okay, I, I have a job now here and I don't know how long I'm going to stay here, then it is very, very important uh, to take care also of your pension because don't fall into the trap of thinking, okay, I don't know how long I'm going to stay here. Let me just do nothing. Right. And then see maybe on the next country, I want to stay long term. And then I there start planning for a pension. And five years go by, you still haven't done anything. You say, oh, Germany is rather nice. Maybe let me stay like one or two years more. Then seven years go by. And so you see what I mean? Like when you have this mentality, you will never, as an expert, you will never really start saving for your pension. So in, in my opinion, as an expert, you should in every country that you're in, Use like the tax saving uh, opportunities that you have in Germany to a base pension, for example, or a group renter. When you then move to the US, you have there for a 1K or a Roth IRA, and there are different systems for, for different countries. Because like as an expert, you will have different pensions from different countries anyway. Mm. Right? That's just, you cannot... <laughs> You can mm. work around that unless you say to come to the government, please don't send me any money. Please don't okay. give me my pension, right? But you will have from different sources from different countries anyway. So when you're in a country and you know, okay, I'm not only going to stay one or two years, please take care of your retirement. Because when you do that strictly in every country, you will be well off when you retire. And first case, you stay here two or three years. You uh, invest your 10,000 in the base pension, for example. 
then you still got like your uh, 40% tax refund in your pocket. You can do with that whatever you want. And then you stop the contribution when you leave Germany and the money that you paid in is, keeps compounding, mm. right? So the 30, 50, uh, thousand you paid in keep compounding until you retire and you will get a pretty decent pension for this and like more than people expect because the first 10, 15 years, as you know, like are the most important ones because this money has a long, a long time to compound. Mm. Right. Another question from from this section would be: Does age play a factor? For example, let's compare two two expats coming to Germany. Yeah. One is, let's say again, coming back to this twenty seven year old starting their first job, and they they have no idea how long they'll stay in Germany. But then there's yeah. another person who's coming at the age of let's say forty five or let's say fifty, right? Yeah. Does does this age play a factor? Can this person also take benefit of private pension plan or is it just uh, a waste of time for them also? So yes, age does play a huge role because like when you start like, that's why I'm such a big advocate for starting early because then it's not hard. When you start early, you have a lot of time for the money to compound and you can just do like your 10, 15% of the salary contribution and you will be fine uh, for retirement. So then there is perfect. When you come like at 45, 50, it, it really depends. Have you already done something, right? Because if not, then uh, it's a very bad situation, honestly, for retirement. I have that sometimes who say, okay, I make very good money, but I really haven't like done anything yet. Then I say, okay, man, you need, <laughs> you need to really hurry up now. So then of course, uh, the older you are, the higher your income is in general. So you can take advantage of this like tax saving uh, opportunity. But when you are like five, five, six, seven years before retirement, I wouldn't commend you to do that and just, okay, put away in, in flexible savings and save what, what's there to save basically. But you can say like when you have 12, 13 years plus, then it's uh, so worth doing. If it's less than uh, you're better off just investing like flexible. But yeah. And to summarize it, as long as you have a high income. This makes a lot of sense. And of course, when you're fine with a pension, right? Mm -hmm. When you say, hey, I want to have all my savings flexible. And if I decide in retirement and have 2 million in my broker's account, if I decide that I want to take a fun trip to Vegas and blow it all in uh, two nights, I want to do that, then of course, this is not the right fit for you. But when you say, okay, I want that stable income in retirement, then uh, this will be fine. And if you want, I can show some concrete numbers, what, yeah. what I like expectations that you can have of course please if you want to calculate the numbers for for you as an example for you go into the consultation with us asha will put a link like in the description then yeah. we can calculate be, it. Uh, the first link in the description will be a contact form where you can contact or book an appointment with david yeah exactly then then we will calculate what what pension you can expect like for for your contribution how much you should put aside and how much taxes do you pay so it's very personalized, the consultation. Of course, you can like get the general information all on our website. We have like great blog articles uh, where everything is, is explained basically. But like for your individual case, I will calculate that for you and then you will see, okay, does that make sense for you or not? But just an example, this is what, what we calculated. I stay in this example when you're... <laughs> Uh, 30 years old as, as like the entire video make 60k and your salary and this is when you put in uh, 500 euros a month so 6,000 euros a year so by the way your tax refund will be 2,500 euros approximately then and this will would your pension be when you're 67 so you see of course you don't know the exact pension because mm -hmm. you don't know the exact performance of the funds yeah. but you can do a forecast of what what pension you will get with what performance. So you see when you have like the 7% performance, it will be 3,000 euros pension approximately. And with a 9% performance it will be a 4,800 euros pension. So this is like what you can calculate with approximately for uh, such a plan. Just that you have like numbers in mind, but as I said, uh, if that's interesting to you and you have that high salary, then I can calculate it for you individually and then you can see if that makes sense. What are some key takeaways or let's say points for experts that they can give or that they can navigate the German system or specifically more the, the German pension system 
effectively. Yeah, so I hope this video has like given you an overview of how the German pension system works, what you can also expect out of it. And the important part is that you know, okay, I have to take care of my pension myself. And you just have to figure out for you what is the smartest way to do that for me. So very important is that you just start doing something, start doing something with a high interest and a long-term investment where you commit to say, okay, I will put down, for example, 10% of my salary long-term for my retirement. And then you can see, okay, do you want to do that with a base pension where I can save a lot of taxes? Do you want to do part of that with an ETF plan, etc.? But the important thing is to commit yourself, okay, and say, I start saving for retirement right where I am right now. And I go from there because the most important thing is starting and just getting used to saving. So th that I would say is the most important takeaway. Take care of your pension yourself. See what is like a smart way for you that fits you. If you want to save taxes with that and uh, want a stable pension, then feel feel free to contact us. Start doing something. That's Then mm -hmm. that should be the That's main message. And don't fall into the trap of thinking, okay, I know, don't know how long, I'm, how long I'm gonna stay here because most of the stories I hear, most of my clients that come from me say, I've been here five years and I thought I will leave after two, three years, but now I like it so much, I want to stay long-term. And then always my clients say after the consultation with us, hey, David, I would love to have known this five years ago because then I could have started five years ago, started saving, uh, started getting, getting tax refunds. So it's just very important to get started. That should be like the main message of this video. So the consultation with you guys, or at least the first consultation is always going to be free, right? Exactly. Right. Okay. You get so I'll put a link with all of the information that you can contact David in the description below. It's going to be the first link. So make sure that you contact David if you're interested in getting a consultation and knowing more about the German pension system. Perfect. So, till the next video, like visit.